reporting of foreign remittance in form 15 ca and form 15 cb section 195 subsection 6 now what happens is that if a person who is remitting any amount to the non-resident he has to provide some information to the income tax department which has to be given in form 15 ca and when there is such a declaration which is given in some cases form 15 cb which is a certificate from a chartered accountant has also to be obtained prior to giving such declaration generally the content of form 15 cb are incorporated in form 15 ca only right let's understand what exactly these are so the payer has to furnish a form 15 ca which is titled as information to be furnished for payment to non-resident we will look at this particular form in detail in the subsequent part of this presentation but broadly what it contains is who's the recipient right the details of the recipient the nature of the payment the amount which has to be paid how the tax has been determined and other things like this right but like i said to decide how much tax has to be withheld not in all cases but in specified cases a form 15 cb which is a certificate of an accountant has to be obtained by the uh, remitter of money and whatever content are there for this certificate they get incorporated in the form 15 ca declaration which is given by the company or the remitter right so what is the time period within which such foreign remittance has to be reported such information has to be furnished before paying any sum to non-resident what this means is that if you are planning to remit any money to the non-resident on 30th june 2018 you should obtain these form the certificate and give the declaration prior to this particular date it cannot be after this date and such a declaration may also be required in some cases even if the payment is not chargeable to tax so if you say that okay the payment is taxable under the act but it is not taxable under the treaty and therefore it is non-taxable even if it is not chargeable to tax then also reporting requirements may be there we will discuss this in detail in the subsequent part of this presentation now who is responsible to furnish this is it the payer or the recipient the non-resident payee it is the payer who has to furnish it the non-resident payee is not responsible for furnishing form 15 ca or cb what is the timeline to furnish the form 15 ca and cb it needs to be furnished before the actual payment to the non-resident right as a practical measure the banks do not allow foreign remittance without form 15 ca or 15 cb like i said cb because it gets incorporated as a part of this so everywhere we are mentioning that these two have to be obtained exempt income even for income exempt under the income tax act reporting would be made in part d of form 15 ca 